So this is my website. Um, I've done quite a simple background um, header. I didn't want it to be too distracting and I wanted it to be quite simple. So I've just used it and I have blurred it on um, Photoshop. So it isn't very distracting. Um, I also put the white font on and that you could say that you can't really read it as well. And I was debating that, but when I changed it black, it just didn't look as good because the colors um, contrast well together. So I've left it like that and I have darkened it down on Weebly and um, the picture because it was very quite light and you couldn't see the font. Um, so yeah, if we go down on my home page, I've got a subtitle here, Lanier versus Shirky. I didn't put that as my home title, I put Our Neck Where It Lives. I've done that because the two people I'm talking about, the two bloggers, it's all about technology and the relying and then like the advantages and disadvantages of it, etc. And I think I wanted to use something obviously website based. I struggled with what I should put for it and I thought our network lives because it's it's ongoing so yeah and basically I have said that through my introduction so here you can say this is my introduction here this is just um, a brief overview of how we rely on the internet etc and how it revolves around our lives like every day like I don't like I don't think anyone like well, I couldn't personally, I, like, without the internet now, it's a struggle when the Wi-Fi goes off, so, yeah, so. Um, I've used an image here with a head, as you can say, with the brain, with the technology. I think that's quite a good image. When you look at it straight away, you grasp it. It's like technology is overtaking the brain, and like I said before, the life. So that's basically a picture all in one about my introduction. And then I have the main purpose of my website, so what you're going to get from it, what you're going to learn from it, who 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 I'm who, who this website is about, etc. And personally, I'm a good listener than a a reader, so I put YouTube videos at the bottom. I firstly did this because I didn't want my homepage to be that simple and quite boring. I wanted it to be quite interactive with a person like looking at my website so basically I've just added YouTube videos um another reason why I've done it is um because I, I I had white like a blank space and I just I wanted to fill it up and I didn't want to fill it up with pictures that, that really don't like have a meaning that doesn't really go with my home page so I thought YouTube's quite good because it gives a brief summary for someone who doesn't even know what I'm talking about and um, never heard it in their life before reading listening to a youtube video um it's like a brief overview before you listen to all the information and process it and i personally am like i said before um i prefer being a listener so i'd like a youtube video um to listen to to explain it um and then i've got an image here of a hand and you're probably wondering why i put it there i have put it there it has got a meaning like we use um thumbs like that on um on websites like Facebook etc and I needed to fill up the space and I wanted a picture there so I thought that would be quite just good to be there Um, that's about it really Um, I also use black font didn't want any a fancy font I just wanted it to be quite simple to read and um, a white background put a white background I didn't want to put the banner where I put the technology picture Um, it's too distracting and personally if I was reading it and with that just, it would really distract me from reading it just I want it quite plain and simple um, so it's got quite a simple aspect to it um, on Lania's homepage I've done the same I've lay, lay it out as the Shirky homepage so they're both similar laid out the same font the same layout basically so I put a picture of Lani here um, I put a picture of Lani here because it is a bit of the first paragraph is a bit about Lanier and we'd like to see what it looks like etc etc so the first one's there and then I put a quote there and um, you could say why I put a quote there I have put a quote there for a reason because like myself if I'm looking online and you and that you want a source to agree or disagree with and then it's homework assignment or reading assignment it's quite good that you found a quote to 
add on like you could start that as an essay and agree or disagree with it so I put a quote there that Lanio is obviously sad and then my introduction is just about him a brief understanding who he is because the person reading this might not even know who he is so the books he's published um etc etc and then I have attached a YouTube clip at the bottom I did struggle um with the YouTube clip quite a lot because I couldn't get it next to the font and it was really annoying me and I just gave up with it completely. I just I had quite a struggle with it. So just put it at the bottom. I've obviously put in my text that is at the bottom so someone knows, so someone can click on it and read at the same time, like reading and listening kind of, but well, yeah, if you can do that. But um I put it as well, the YouTube video, even though I'm talking about it in my um web page it's still good for an overview of someone who wants to look at it in more depth and maybe doesn't understand my reading well hopefully they do and the youtube video is a kind of like a brief overview then i put here um um a picture who owns the future as he published a book with that title um if we go on clay shaky now i've done the same layout um with a crow etc and a picture um, I've done it the same because I think it should be the same. Like if it, I don't want it to be messed up or jungled up. Like I just want it to be quite simple, like I said before. So if we scroll down, going a bit slow. Come on, there you go. With the picture and then the quote there, and then introduction about Clay Shirky. And then you did say in class, if you scroll down, um, a lot of people are going to be using this YouTube video, and probably a lot of people are that are Shirky for their project. Um. I've done it because I've included it in my text with references. Um, I basically, you could be saying I like just like saying what he's saying, but in writing form. But I'm basically finding other references that agree and disagree with him, and I'm adding on to his quotes. I am getting quotes from his reading, what he is saying, and expanding on him. And for someone who wants to look at it in more depth and wants to, I doesn't really understand it, and then I say a quote and expand on it, they might understand it a bit more. Um, so yeah and then I put the logo logo here um, because I am talking about that I'm saying how um, on this paragraph here I'm saying how it, it's very remarkable what we do um, with all these projects helping each other etc etc so I just put a picture so it's kind of the same layout with a picture in the YouTube video on um, Lanier's um, my next one is my Prezi I'm gonna have to show you on this because right now it doesn't want to like play. I have published it though. It does work when you it's published, but it doesn't want to load. So basically, my Prezi is here, loading. Um, it doesn't come up though. And then I put a, just I put at the bottom of it like what what this is, compare and contrasting. Well, I am doing compare and contrasting. Basically, doing this Prezi Prezi is helping me. Um, it's helping you or anyone to understand it in bullet point form. It's kind of just like kind of what I've been talking about but maybe a bit more in depth what what their theories are and ideas so yeah this is my Prezi um I've used it quite simple again because I didn't want it to be like overwhelming and I haven't really used an overwhelming website so I want it to be the same as my Prezi like just kind of the same and in order um I'll just restart it so basically I've got a title of Lanier and then these bubbles and these bubbles have headings so it has a heading and basically the heading is what I'm saying in the text so example information sold and then I'm talking about Facebook like if most people refuse to provide information would you therefore have to pay for Facebook etc with um, statistics there I've got unemployment um, and I've got quotes from Lanier's books here um, how Lani is talking about Instagram and Kodak. Um, I got that from a really good article online, which I've referenced, obviously, um, which is not included in my web page, but it's included in my Prezi because it's a more understanding um, what else he's saying in articles and what other people are saying and what other people are agreeing or disagreeing. It's the same layout here, Clay Shark, Shirky, sorry, um, influences and ideas, how we can become so right. Relying on it instead of saviour and um, bringing people together. 
and then I got a bibliography there with my references there and then that's it really and then back to the home page so it's really quite simple but it's quite a good understanding for someone who wants to do in bullet point form like a revision session say I think that would be like quite handy like I'd like that personally um like cut down like broken down for you basically so it's quite easier to um understand if you're struggling and then that is my um bibliography here with all my references in Harvard style in alphabetical order um all here so basically I've just done it all simple and just copy paste I've got home page here so that you know all the references from the home page and um uh, Lanier's and Shirky's and um where I got the images from as well um are important um oh the images are 